Okay, hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope if you're new and I'm super excited that you're joining me today. I thought I'd take you guys through a little what's in my work bag for 2024. I made a video a few months ago about what I keep in just my everyday purse, my everyday bag, and you guys seem to really like it. So I thought I'd come back and do a work bag edition. I do work from home, but there are those days where I need to go out to take a meeting or just kind of get out of the house to get some work done. So I thought I would show you guys what I typically keep with me in my everyday work bag. First things first, my bag is from Coldwater Creek. I thrifted it at Savers a few months ago or so. I think I've seen a couple for sale on Poshmark and Mercari, but I absolutely love this bag. I knew I wanted a bag that would be able to fit my 16 inch laptop, which isn't here for this video, but that is something that I also carry in it with me. And this does fit that. So I love this bag. I love the pattern of it. And it also just holds a lot of stuff. So it does exactly what I need it to do inside of it. The first thing I have is my notebook. This is just a little ideas notebook from Michaels. I do everything in here from gratitude to note taking to really just jotting down anything that might come to my mind. I do have another notebook I'm about to show you that I think will probably do more for me than this notebook does. So this one I just kind of carry around with me out of habit. But the other notebook is what I will typically use more on a day-to-day -day basis. But this notebook, I think it's just good to always have one with you in case you want to write something down or you get an idea or anything like that. But this next notebook is actually a traveler's notebook. And I've gotten so into this lately and I just absolutely love everything about it. On the front here, I decorated it with some pins of just places that I've gone recently. I have a vlog on when we went to Zion and then we went to Sedona, I think last March or May or something. So I thought it'd be kind of cute to just put some pins on the front of my little journal. This notebook has a little elastic band that essentially keeps it all together. So you're able to have multiple notebooks and different sorts of planners and stuff all in one book. And I really, really like it. This is the pen I use with it. It is the Uni Jetstream. It has just your typical black ink and then it also has blue and red and it's just a really fine 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 tip pen so I really like to carry this one with me to use in the planner that I'm going to show you guys but let's open this thing up when you first open my notebook you see a little kind of storage container in the front so I just kind of toss anything that I collect inside of this little zipper pouch that way I can go back and use it in my journal or just kind of reference it later on I just find it convenient to have a little storage spot in here and then I do decorate all of my little notebook covers I think it just makes it a fun way Way to make them a little bit more personal. So I'll go ahead and decorate every new notebook that I string into here. And all you do is put the elastic band that connects to your outer cover and you just kind of wind it in between this journal. I don't really know if it makes sense without me actually showing you how to do it. So let me know if you guys want a traveler's journal video. I can definitely make one in the future. But I use this initial journal a lot for memory keeping and scrapbooking. And then the next journal is my Hobonichi planner. It is my first year using one of these and I I absolutely love it. I could not recommend it more. I have a little insert that I put in to mark the day that I'm currently on and it just kind of has a ruler on the back. This is what a typical week might look like. It has Monday through Sunday on the left hand side and then like an empty space for writing notes or just different to-do list items on the right. And then I'll just kind of stick my today little marker in the middle and fold her up. It also has a monthly calendar section that I also really like to use. So here is what it looks like for January. And I just think it's a really fun way to plan out everything and just kind of see your kind of month at a glance. I keep my weekly goals on the little left hand column here and then I also have a little habit tracker at the bottom. And then the final notebook I have in my traveler's journal is for my work. So if I need to take notes during work, do a brain dump or schedule anything out, anything like that, I go ahead and write it in this back planner. It is just a blank page notebook and I just find it to be the most useful when it comes to work since I'm able to make like different graphs and charts and stuff like that. So I do love it for that and then in the very back I also have have a little section to store more stuff. But yeah, that is my traveler's notebook. This thing goes everywhere with me. If I don't have it in my work bag, then I'm also putting it in my purse nowadays. And then I just take my little pen and slide her on the side. The next thing I keep in my work bag is just my glasses case. I'm wearing my glasses right now, but let me take them off to show you. These are the glasses I wear. They are from a company called Fermo, I believe, and they just fit right in there. This glasses case I got off of Etsy, I believe, and I've been using it ever since and absolutely love it. So that one's pretty self-explanatory. Next up, I have my little makeup pouch. Now, if I'm carrying my work bag with me, I typically don't also carry a purse. So I use this little bag just to store a bunch of like 
like my makeup and toiletry stuff in. I feel like the outer pattern of this really goes well with my work bag, so I chose it for that reason. But I picked it up at a craft fair a few years ago or something, so I've had these things for a while. Really like them. I feel like they fit a lot. So I have my powder. I have a lip gloss. I also have some like face blotting sheets, eyeliner, mascara, and then a lip pencil, a chapstick. This pomegranate one is my absolute favorite. I have some extra contacts, a little comb that kind of folds out, some eye drops, and then I think just a few different hair ties. But I like keeping all this in here because it really is just nice to be able to touch up your makeup while on the go. Especially if I feel like I'm going to be meeting anybody, I feel like it's nice just to have a couple makeup essentials in your work bag with you. Especially chapstick and eye drops. I feel like those are the two things that I'm going to bring with me no matter what. And the other things are just kind of like little bonus items. And then also contacts. Really important for me to have extras in case I don't want to continue wearing my glasses or something gets in my eye or something. I wear daily contacts, so that's why I just like to keep a few extras with me but so that is what's in my little makeup pouch the next two things i grabbed out of my bag are a thing of hand sanitizer and then also just a little hair clip in my last video i showed you guys that i had the touchland hand sanitizer and i complained that i didn't really understand how a like one of those touchland things could cost ten dollars especially since they're not refillable but you guys gave me a lot of good suggestions and i just have yet to actually do them so i just have this regular one here i buy it in bulk and i've just been refilling this thing for what seems like forever. And then just a hair clip for obvious reasons. I also really like that I'm able to put my phone in the top of the hair clip here and then it works as like a little mini tripod. So I thought that that was also a good reason to carry one around with me. At the bottom of my bag, I also just found this pen and I thought I would just show it to you real quick. I really like using brush pens to highlight in books or doing any sort of annotations or anything. The tip of it kind of looks like that and it just leaves a nice thick but also light line. I have it in this pretty green color and I usually will carry a few of these around with me in case I don't want to use a traditional highlighter. Next up in the smaller pockets, I have another thing of eye drops. I tend to get really dry eyes, so I like to have a couple of these with me, especially if I'm staring at the computer screen for a really long time. These are kind of just a handy thing to have around. And then of course, I also have my AirPods. These are just the best. I really prefer them over like over the head headphones. Those tend to hurt my ears and give me a headache, and these are just so practical for everyday use. So I definitely always bring them with me whenever I'm going out to work. I love listening to music while getting stuff done and I feel like these are just perfect for that. I also keep a little MagSafe phone charger with me. This is just one of the ones that you can just like stick on the back of your phone. I have an iPhone 13 Pro for reference. I just kind of stick it on the back and then it starts charging it. I really like this one specifically because it has like a little phone stand option so you can like fold it up like this and it'll function as like a phone stand. I really like this especially for when I'm working because I'll typically use my phone as a timer to keep track of like the sessions that I've been working during. So I like that for that. And then it also charges it. So I feel like that's a double win. Next up, I have my Kindle. I usually just bring it around with me in case I want to do any little bits of reading on the go. I have a couple books downloaded on here right now. The first one I think is about mindfulness. And then I also have a fiction book that I just started getting into that honestly, I don't really remember too much about. It's not super, super interesting, but I definitely try to read nonfiction when I am doing anything work related I feel like it tends to keep me a little bit more focused and motivated so it's nice just to be able to have that option on here I think I might have shown you guys this in the past but I did decorate my kindle with a bunch of just random stickers I found on amazon and then I also stuck a little pop socket on it I think it just makes it so much cuter and I really love the functionality of the pop socket but yeah I think the most convenient part about this is you could have multiple books on it without it taking up any more space so definitely always keep this with me and the last two things I keep in my work bag kind of go together, but the first one is my iPad mini. I absolutely love using this for work and just getting things done or even for school. I use it for note taking, I use it for planning, but I think the biggest things I use it for in a work sense is doing my emails and then also being able to do grad school work on here. I can take meetings on here, I have Zoom on here, and I just feel like the iPad mini is the most practical size iPad. Like here's the size of my hand for reference. It's just the perfect size to give you 
all the functionality of an iPad without needing to carry something bigger around with you. At this point, I really feel like it's replaced my larger laptop. The biggest thing with my laptop is that it was a little bit big to carry around with me, especially if I just wanted to bring something with me really quick just to get a little bit more work done. So this has almost completely replaced that in terms of being able to work outside of the house. And to do that, what I do is I combine my iPad mini with a full-size keyboard. So I'll bring that with me along with this. This keyboard actually folds in half and I think it is just the coolest thing. This keyboard is about the same size as your typical Mac keyboard, so if that gives you any sort of size reference, but I absolutely love it. I think that size-wise it's super convenient because it doesn't take up that much space and I can stick it into whatever bag I might be bringing with me. I did put these little dots on it, it came with it, but it just makes it so it doesn't slip around too much and I've honestly had no issues with it. I absolutely love this thing. It's really convenient because I don't really like the smaller iPad mini keyboards. I feel like they're just not big enough for me to be able to work effectively on them, so this one allows me to get everything done in essentially half the space. And I feel like those two things combined, this keyboard and then the iPad mini, make just the perfect working on the go combo and I love them. That's everything I keep with me in my everyday work bag. I hope this gave you guys some ideas on things you can carry around with you if you are working outside of the house, whether that be an office, a coffee shop, or even a library. These are all things that are really practical for you to bring around with you so you can get things done on the go. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to like and subscribe if you're new. I post new videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday so you can tune back in then for some new content. And I will talk to you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.